Drew's Custom Baits. Drew's Custom Baits. He's a natural color. Greg used a clear one. And there you go. There's the bass. Not here, right? It almost looks like a spotty. Like a spotted bass. Nice. Oh! Yeah. Big bass! Big bass! Big bass! Good morning guys, welcome to another episode of Recast Fishing in SoCal. And it's been a while, been so busy with my life schedule. And I know Greg's been really busy with his life schedule, huh? Yep. Yep, he's been fixing his uh, boat and his backyard and, and all kinds of other stuff. But today we are out fishing. It's Father's Day. I'm here with my dad, like usual. Yes. Yep. He's all excited to be out here fishing. And we are going for catfish. Greg came out here last night, caught four. Four. Yep. And today looks like a really good day to go fishing with your dad. So we're hoping we'll catch some catfish. We are today using some. Some shrimp. Oh, we got some juice on there. We're using some some shrimp, and that's what Greg caught it off last night. So let's see what we'll get today. Within the first couple hours. Stay tuned. It's actually been maybe 20 minutes or so. No bites whatsoever. Nice day to be out here, but you know, it would be better if we catch something. Greg's trying new things. Just get the skunk off. We're actually trying to catch some bass now. There's been some bass and bluegill action right along the shoreline. Been trying some uh, some plastics to see if we catch anything. Here's some of our some of our things that we have for catfish today. We have this thing says trout, but this is the catfish dough. It has like different flavors for catfish. Here's like little extra scents. The bloody meat from uh, Bait Pro. Supposedly it gives like a little extra scent. And here's some uh, little catfish chum chunks from Gulp. We're trying some of these. And like we all know, I even made a video on this earlier. If you like to see how I did on this, this thing is pretty good. I even did a bait test and it turns out to be this is one of the better baits. And this turns out to be one of the other baits that I tried. It was pretty good. The Secret 7. We're trying some of this to see if it works. Alright, for Greg right now he's doing something for bass. So what's your setup, Greg? Slit shot. Little hook. Little wacky rig. It's a little trout wack wacky rig. And the bass are not that big out here, it looks like. The biggest one I've seen is maybe like a, like a pound and a half. There has to be bigger ones than that, though, huh? Somebody said they caught at least a three or four pounder down the bottom lake. All right, so there's some pretty good sized bass out here. All right, and then Greg's on a miniature bass on that. And there you go. There's the bass. <laughs> on the drop. Looks like the, the bass were biting. There she is! And there's the release. They hit it on the bottom. On the bottom? Yeah. <laughs> Great got his skunk off. 
And again, who's rod and reel? Yes, mine. And this is the Eagle, the Fenwick Eagle. The one I got recently. It's a very good rod and reel. I originally uh, got this to uh, swap it out for the rod I broke earlier this year when I went uh, trout fishing. Here, I think, right? Was it here? Oh, yeah. Baby bass. John's in with a monster. Five pounds? 20. 20? Look, long arm. <laughs> Big fish. <laughs> Where's the camera? Oh. It's, gonna, it's gonna go on Instagram. Let me take a... Take the hook off. And you shall be released with a fishy. Ooh, water's warm. That thing's hot. Water's like hot. It's like we were using. Looks like a, a trout worm. Drew's custom baits. Drew's custom bait. He's a natural color. Greg used a clear one. I'm trying to. Clear. I think that's the same color I was using, or I think it was a peanut butter one. I caught the five pound like two years ago from Mammoth. So I'm using a trout worm hook. Light line, it's like a four pound test. All right, and my dad got one too, and that's a small bass right there. Nice, nice one. That's a large, right? Yeah. That's a large here, right? It almost looks like a spotty, like a spotted bass. Nice. Oh, okay, let's, let's take that off. Okay, how's it stand? Oh, dude, my dad hooks up big. Catfish. Catfish? Catfish? Oh, oh, big bass. Big bass. Big bass. Big bass. Big bass. Oh, damn, look at that. Woo, look at that. Nice. Let's weigh it. Let's weigh it. Damn. We totally move over there. Yeah. Big bass. Woo! And here's a meter, it's zero. Meter reads 1.98. Almost, oh, two. Two pounds. Two pounds. Two pounds. Two pound bass. Yeah. Two pounds! Awesome. Totally with your hand on knees, like that. Just a little bit. All right, good job. All right. Hey, let's talk about it. And she goes. Good job. Woo, nice. What a day. <laughs> That's how you do it. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Look at on. And could you believe it, everyone? This is what he caught it off of. That with that little dinky hook. So yeah, everyone, you, you guys don't need to buy like those real fancy giant enormous looking plastics. You can catch it off a little trout. Right? Okay, that just about wraps it up. For today, we did very good. Yeah. Yeah, you know, he caught his personal best bass. We all did a skunk. So for our video today, hit that like button, subscribe, don't forget. And uh, we'll see you again on another episode of Recast. Fishing is so